Today is Monday, July 3rd, 2023. We're here at the Stillwater Trailhead outside Yampa, Colorado, headed in for a couple day backpacking trip into the Flat Tops Wilderness. Our plan for today is just to hike a few miles in to the first lake we come across where we can set up camp. And then we're gonna scout out our route for tomorrow, which might still be too snow covered for us to make it over. We're gonna find out later today. And if it looks like it's not doable, we'll figure out plan B. Here is a look up at the Devil's Causeway, which we will hopefully be traversing tomorrow. So around 2.30, we got to camp maybe an hour ago. Super short, really easy day. We had actually planned to start this trip tomorrow and we finished up our last hike out near Frisco a day early. So we decided to just head on in and we chose to camp here from just looking at the map on the way in. It was the first water source we were gonna come to. Really shocked at how beautiful this lake is. Just wow. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the mosquitoes are out in full force probably going to have to cover ourselves in deep and break out the head net soon but yeah we're just going to hang out and enjoy this beautiful spot for the evening From my tent, I can just barely look through the trees and get a view of the lake. So last night we stayed at the Bear Lake campground a few miles from the trailhead and sometime around 4 a.m. there was a little bit of commotion around the campsite. Rex, you uh, want to explain this? <laughs> sure. Please um, do. First of all, it's called Bear Lake, so that should give you an indication where the story is going, or we think. <laughs> 
So around four o'clock in the morning, after actually sleeping the best that I've slept, the whole time out here, I hear this up against the tent and I'm freaking out and I'm thinking at first, okay, it could be Chad. Well, I realized the noise was coming from this side, Chad's on this side, and then I start hearing like these sounds of uh, like smelling and some type of animal just kind of almost grunting a little bit. And then I could actually hear actual footsteps. So I wait a little bit more, I hear it again. So I grab my trusty whistle. And in my uh, little panic, I cover the whistle blowhole and it goes <laughs> <laughs> and I literally almost start laughing and then I'm like okay screw it <laughs> three loud bursts then I can hear some footprints kind of stepping off and then I go Chad did you hear that and I go yes I did and what I heard was the uh, two short burst of the whistle and that's the only thing i heard so i'm assuming the bear was somewhere else in camp and that was somebody else doing it not really it was rex in the next tent so he tells me to uh said have you looked outside i was like no i said i'll get out and look so by the time i kind of find my night light in the tent get out i realize this motherfucker sent me out first <laughs> <laughs> to meet the bear because he's not even out yet. <laughs> and I'm trying in my lot going. <laughs> so at this time, <laughs> Rex finally comes out with the rider lot. Well, in my defense, <laughs> I wasn't going to go out to meet the bear face to face. <laughs> Chad and I are tents are so close together that I couldn't exit out the other way. So Chad was the, the brave one and got out first, um, not realizing it. So... We both have lights, look around, didn't really see anything. By this time, it's 4.20ish, give or take. So I said, listen, you want to go sleep in the rental van? He was like, yeah. So we go in there, get in the van. And I was like, shit, should we tell Mike? <laughs> now, granted, Chad and I are both barefoot in our underwear, carrying sleeping bags yeah. to the van. So I was like, well, shit. Yeah, we should. Then he can make the decision his way. So I get out, roll over, like, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Chad wakes me up and I was sleeping wonderfully. And in my stupor, all I could piece together was, hey, Mike, Rex whistled at a bear. We're sleeping in the van. And I kind of woke up and I'm like, well, did he run away? He's like, yeah, I think so. Just thought you should know. And then... <laughs> I see his headlamp going back toward the van and probably seconds later, I fell asleep. So when all this was going on, my tent was probably 20 feet away from theirs, sandwiched right up against a tree. And I wasn't paying attention to which way I was facing. So I thought the campers on the other side of us had their headlamps on and were just talking in the middle of the night. It wasn't until after Chad alerted me to what was going on, that I realized that it was these two who were making all the noise <laughs> in the middle of the night, shining their headlamps around for what I thought was no good reason at all. I don't know how, but I fell right back to sleep, even having been told that a bear tried to break into Rex's tent. <laughs> to be fair, right before we went to bed, he said he was bringing his Butterfinger bar to bed with him. <laughs> and me and Chad told him it was a bad idea. And he said the bear was not going to lay a finger on it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So that's the story of Bear Lake. Camp spot number 25. <laughs> Be bear aware. And it looks like right on schedule, the Colorado thunderstorms are rolling in. And minutes later, here I am hiding out from the rain and hail. Good times. Uh, 
Welcome to the mountains. If you don't like the weather, just wait half an hour. Well, the daily hailstorm came and went. <laughs> so guess what time it is? Just past 8 p.m. The bugs are finally starting to calm down a little. So we're gonna enjoy what bit of daylight is left. It's gonna be the end of day number one. See you in the morning. Good morning, it is day number two. So there's been a slight change of plans. Chad woke up this morning not really feeling well. We all kind of took some time and had breakfast and it really wasn't getting much better for him. We discussed a handful of different options and what we decided makes the most sense is that he's gonna stay here at camp. We're gonna leave everything set up for the time being. Rex and I are just gonna grab some essentials and do a day hike across the causeway and hopefully out to the Chinese wall. We're gonna meet Chad back down here at camp later this afternoon and then we're gonna assess whether we want to spend one more night here or go ahead and hike out a day early. So here's a look down at what we've climbed up so far today. And that's where we're trying to get up to. So far the snow fields have been tedious, but not too terrible.
unfortunately there's been another change of plans what you see back behind me is the last little push up to the summit of the causeway and to get up there we would have to cross both of those large snow fields and i don't know how well it shows on camera but we've also got storm clouds rolling in the hike up here to this meadow and trail junction was still worth it awesome being able to look out onto the chinese wall and into the other side of the wilderness probably just gonna have to come back here and attempt this another time when the snow's a little bit more clear it's a bummer to get this close and not be able to finish the last little bit but neither of us are really feeling great about it so we're gonna enjoy the view up here a little bit longer as long as we don't start seeing thunder and lightning if so we're gonna have to get back down in a hurry but it's awesome up here all the same in the trees is where we're headed. Here's probably our last look up at the causeway. And you can really see how steep that approach is. And there's no snow on this side of it. It's currently around 2.30. We got back to camp about an hour ago. It was pretty much a unanimous decision. We're gonna go ahead and hike out of here today. The lake is beautiful, but the bugs have been horrendous. There's a few pay-as-you-go type campgrounds down by the trailhead, so we're gonna hopefully grab a spot at one of those. Maybe have a campfire and a couple cigars and just chill and enjoy our last night out here in the wilderness. I'm still a little disappointed we didn't make it up and over the causeway, but this trip wasn't really about any particular route or hike or destination. We kind of just wanted to get out and explore some different parts of the state of Colorado that we'd wanted to see and never really had time to. And in that regard, the trip was really a huge success. Flat Tops Wilderness is absolutely beautiful. I'll definitely come back here again when I can do a longer trip. Prior to that, we spent a few days out in the Eagle's Nest Wilderness. It was awesome out there. And a few days before that, we hiked a few sections of the Colorado Trail and loved it out there. I think it's been eight or nine days total that we've just been out camping and hiking and backpacking. Not a single day has sucked. Every day has been awesome. Not everything went as planned. That's just kind of how it is. You know, I like a sense of adventure when I go out hiking and that means sometimes things don't go according to plan. You just roll with it. Thankfully, we had a pretty awesome group. Everybody was kind of equally flexible. We all got along well. Hopefully we can grab a campsite and maybe find some pizza or some hot food. I think we're all kind of over backpacking food right now. But yeah, this has been a fantastic week. Weather's been pretty good. Bugs have been annoying. Uh, scenery's been awesome. Five stars every single day. 
haven't been disappointed with that in the least that's for sure anyway this is going to be the end of the trip thank you for watching see you next time